Hello friends, welcome to Third Stall Garage. My name is Doug. Today's project is the removal of the rear glass out of the back of a 65, 66 Mustang. Um, working on a 66 Mustang convertible. It's a DIY channel where you can learn that all you need really is a willingness to try and anybody can work with diligence and get some good results. So thanks for tuning in. Let's figure out how to get this window out. So my car might be more slightly disassembled than yours is already. Obviously mine's torn apart quite a bit. And uh, if yours is fully assembled, you're gonna need to remove the lower rear seat as well as the back of the seat, the side panel here, as well as the door handle crank. So uh, the seats, push on them and uh, they'll pop out. Should be two screws in the bottom of the rear seat back. And then on the side panel here, on the window crank, there is a small Allen screw that goes in, like if the handle is aligned this way, that you would crank it with, it's right in line with the handle. And then there should be four screws uh, around the perimeter that remove this panel, which brings you to the point where I am here. First thing you're gonna do is remove this bracket from the rear side. Now I've got one here that's from the um, driver's side. I'm on the passenger side right now. So you've got one screw down here. Sorry, just off camera. One screw down here and one screw up here. Once those two come out, this bracket will come out. Well, you'll notice on mine that my drill is in the way. Uh, this whole bracket is loose here, which is part of the reason why I'm taking this out. This, I think, should be welded in on both sides. Uh, but one bolt there, which I'll just leave in, and then the other bolt on the top. One of the key things to remember with these bolts is there are a couple different lengths. Uh, this is a short bolt, and then if you look at the one on the bottom, it is significantly longer. Let's compare those two side by side. You can see one is shorter than the other. So it's important to remember that these bolts and this hardware uh, is specific to the windows. And you know some of it is uh, generic, but some of it's real specific. So a long bolt goes in the bottom of the bracket and there is a short bolt that goes in the top of the bracket. And that's important to remember. So I am showing you the bolts that I'm taking out of mine. Uh, I had a short bolt in the top and a long bolt in the bottom. That's the way my car was. Uh, I have seen videos online where they had a short bolt on the top and a short bolt on the bottom. I don't know who's taking this apart and since it came from the factory. Um, so if, if your experience is slightly different, I'm just able to tell you what mine is. Next, the regulator's gotta come out. So these four bolts here, uh, and then the regulator should pop loose. Half inch socket. All four of these are the shorter bolts as well. So four of them like that with the factory style lock washers on there. That should, have loosened the regulator, except for there's a fifth bolt here, which is, I think, a stop for the window. This is what that stop for the window looks like. Um, it is a short bolt as well. Now the Window regulator is loose. And no matter what you do, it fights you coming out the bottom. Which means I'm sure, oh, I wedged it in there oh so nicely. regulator is out. Here's where that stop goes with another one of the short bolts. 
while you have your regulator out, it's a great time. Clean it really thoroughly, degrease it, um, sandblast it, whatever you need to. Be careful getting too many, uh, too much grit in pivoting joints, and you want to grease everything up. It's also a good time to check all of your rollers to make sure they're in good shape. I've got one here that looks a little bit old. And I've got one there that is completely missing. The spring clip is there, um, but there is no roller on that anymore. So that I will have to try to find a replacement one for. So this is going to go in a box for cleaning up on some nice winter day. Next, we're going to go in these top two holes here. In order to get to these top two bolts, we need to have the window regular all the way, or sorry, the window all the way up. And you'll need a longer extension. Um, my head is in the way, sorry. magnet that one is a long screw long bolt goes in the back and then there should be a second one my window doesn't quite go high enough to get to that one Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about this one for a little bit. All right, next try to get this out. So I got one bolt out with the window all the way up. I'm gonna try getting the window all the way down and see if I can get at that bolt. In order to do that, I'm gonna remove this stop here. I think there's supposed to be two bolts holding it. Mine only had one in place. So, and it was completely loose. There's a long bolt. I'm gonna put that with this bracket here. Then I've got another round stop on the side back here, um, which has a big long rubber cylinder on it um, that goes on a slide. Um, I don't know if this is stock I mean, these are the same things that go like on the fender apron to mount the fender. Uh, could be that that's what Ford used. I don't know. So I'm going to try to drop this window farther down than it normally goes. And now I can access that bolt. There may be other ways to do this. If so, I hadn't figured it out yet. The goal is to separate the window glass and frame. Long bolt from the track that it is in. Uh, and now I think I just have one more bolt on the bottom, which I should have taken out before I lowered the window all the way down. Right there, if you can see it, that should separate the window track from That one is a short bolt. So a short bolt goes in there. Okay, at this point in time, if I let the glass go all the way down, here's where the magic happens. Are you ready? This is gonna be so exciting. The window should stay in there. Should want to allow the track to go up. I'm 
making this look easy, aren't I? Easy, nothing to it. Lemon squeezy. Once that is out, overall, not too bad a shape. Again. I look at all these slides and things. I'd be happy to show you the reassembly of it, but the way this project's going, that will probably be after paint and everything is done. And so I uh, tune back in in about five years. Hope yours goes as smooth or smoother than mine. Thanks for being part of Third Stall Garage. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Uh, if you're willing, if you like to learn about um, Projects like this, shop projects, updates, um, working on a VW project in the background, you can see with a friend of mine. Um, the point of this channel is just to prove that with patience and a willingness to try, anybody can do a project like this and do it well. So uh, if that's you, if you want to learn, I'd love it if you click subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Have a great day. Post a comment below. Be kind.